All right. In this movie, we're going to give you a quick overview of what uh, what to expect when you connect to a reference or base receiver. Now, I have a profile created, and um, on my GPS toolbar, I'm going to press the Start GPS button, and I'm going to click on Reference. This Leica 1200 profile is the one that I want to connect with, so we're just going to press Connect. So now it's connecting to a 1200 receiver. And once connected, on the GPS toolbar, you'll see that there's going to be some information for us to look at. Uh, this message is normal. Basically, it's just reminding you that to program the receiver, you need to press the measure button on the main interface. And here we are. This blue arrow here in my project is the current autonomous position of the receiver. And here it's, it's close to a control point that we have uh, in our control network here, point 202. Now if we go, go to the GPS taskbar, when you're connected to a reference or base station, you'll always see the word reference. And when you click on the GPS task button, you can get information here about the receiver you're connected to. Now, uh, I'm actually playing back a, a file through utility here. I'm not actually outside connected to the receiver. Normally, you would see this information in here. You can get information about, uh, um, if you're connected to the rover, about what's being uh, broadcast from the base. You can get coordinate information. This will tell you basically the datum you currently uh, have specified. And also, it will give you the extents of your datum files that you currently have loaded in Field Genius. Um, depending on the receivers, if they support uh, uh, raw data logging, you can uh, start and stop that and, and look at the files with this button. Configure will basically stop your communication with the receiver and allow you to connect to it again. And the disconnect button, well, it will disconnect from the receiver. Below that is our um, basically our button that tells you how many satellites are currently uh, theoretically in view, which are nine, and then it's telling us here that we're tracking six of those, well now eight satellites. If you click that button, we open up a satellite plot screen. These solid circles here indicate the satellites that are currently being tracked. And here you're going to see there's two satellites that appear with an open circle um, that are not being tracked. Now, you can also view those in a list if you want. Go back to the plot. Below that is a button that has the DOP values. So P means PDOP. So here we've got a PDOP of 1.8. This would be HDOP. And I'm just toggling through these by tapping the button. And here's your VDOP. Below that is a, we call it the GPS position button. Toggle it once, and in this toolbar here, it'll show you your current grid coordinate. Sorry, I accidentally clicked in there. Toggle it again, it'll show you your geodetic position and ellipsoid height. And toggle it one more time, and we'll show you your uh, RMS values, both horizontal and vertical. Let's just close that up. Next to that is, uh, this is a cursor tracking button. If you turn it on, then the position will always... Uh, if you just tap it once, it just forces your position to be in the center. But if you double tap it, you'll see it turns yellow, and that will force your current position to always be centered on the screen. And then below that is our measure button. And so what we're going to do here in this one video is show you how to program your base with a known position. So we're going to press measure, and we're going to click on use known geodetic position. Now, you have the option here of entering in a geodetic position, either uh, latitude, longitude, and ellipsoid height, or entering in a northing, easting, and uh, orthometric height. Uh, I'm going to select a position from the database here, 